In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the full Ichiban Kuji set. Right here, I've got these little rubber keychains, then some cups, and some art plates right here, and some towels. And then, of course, the full set of six figures here, Kaido, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Yamato, and another Kaido. So first, I'm going to be opening these rubber keychains. So there's 12 types of them, 12 different ones, but I'm actually missing the Yamato. I thought I was getting them all, but I just missed that one, so. And here's Law. Let's get them out. It's kind of ugly. So I opened the boxes already, but I don't remember what order I put them in, so never know which one's coming out. Um, Zoro. Here he is. The Sexy Beast Queen is back. Now this is a good one. And now we got King. And it's Jack. So we got six more, six more to go. And there's Big Mom. It's kind of stuck in there. Oh, and this is Kaido. And now Kid. So now we got three more to go. Gear for Luffy. Another good one. So, so far, this Luffy and the Queen are probably my favorite ones. Kaido too, maybe. Oh, here's Sanji. That one's pretty good. And here's the last one. Marco.
And now for these four cups. So here are the four types that are in there, and I've got all of them, so let's see which ones are. So first is the Yamato cup. Got some stuff on the back. And the Kaido cup. It says Kaido, Animal Kingdom, Pirates, Thunder Vagua, Four Emperors, Fish, Fish, Fruit, Mythical Type. A lot of stuff on there. And then let's see. So this cup has Luffy, Kid, and Law. So that means the last one's got to be this Luffy cup. And now for these art plates. I'm pretty excited about these. I thought they were going to be clear files, but they're like hard cardboard. So I actually prefer this. I hope that they do more like this in the future. So let's see. So here it is out of the packaging. They've actually got two layers to them. You can see right here. This is the bottom layer and then... Here it's risen up a little bit where Jack and Queen are. And then the whole border is also a layer up from the main picture in the back. So next is Marco and Chopper. So here they are and looks like Chopper is risen on this one. He's the one that's a layer up. And then they all say One Piece on the bottom. And then this one's got Luffy, Kid, and Law. And this one looks good. Luffy looks to be the one that's a layer up on this one. Just Luffy then. Law and Kate are both in the background there. Yeah, I love these things. Zoro and Sanji, another great one. So here they are. I think this is my favorite one so far. And they've got Zoro on the top layer here. The front layer, whatever. And the nine red scabbards here. This one's pretty good. I really like all of these ones. You can see it. Okay, next we got Usopp, Tama, and Nami. Then 
we got what the uh, Toby Ropo. So here's this one. And the last one is Kaido and Big Mom. So I think these towels are pretty long. Not sure how I'm gonna fit it on the camera, but I'm just gonna open one and see how it is. Oh. Seems like it needs to be cut open. I'll just tear it on I'll just tear it open. Okay, so here's the Yamato towel. There's the front and the bottom. These almost look kind of like banners or something. But let's just open them for now, then I'll get a full shot of them all. So next is the Gear 4 Luffy. There's the top half and the bottom half. And the back's just white. Next is Law. So the top half of it and then here comes the bottom half. I actually opened this one right came right off. Can almost see his other foot, but not quite. We got a sexy beast here, Zoro. I just love this one. This is probably my favorite one so far. But we'll see. Zoro and Sanji are both pretty good, pretty good towels. And here's Robin. Then next we got Kid. The top half and the bottom half. These are really great prizes. I I love these towels so far. And the last one's Nami. Here's the Top half and the bottom half. Now I'll get a better shot of them so you can see them fully. Here we got, first we got Nami here. Then there's Robin. Yamato. And Sanji. I just really love these. I'm glad I got the full Ichiban Kuji set. I think these towels and the art plates are probably my favorite prizes of the Sichiban Kuji set. And then yeah, I think they'd I think they'd be pretty good as like a banner to hang down, like I could hang it on my shelf like this. 
but it was it would cover the figures so I'm sure I could figure out something to do with them okay and here are the last four Law, Luffy, Kid, and Zoro let's get the full view of them here but yeah I just love this Zoro one I think it looks really good I mean they all look good I think I like all of them And now for the figures. So the first one will be the Prize D Zoro figure. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and overview of each of the figures so this video doesn't take two hours. So this plastic was on there pretty good actually. I thought there was some tape that I missed but I just had to pull it harder. And here's his three swords. And now for Zoro himself. So he's a pretty small figure. I think they're all going to be pretty small. So he does still have those ugly seams on his arms, just like in the official pictures. I expected it, so it's not an issue for me. And I forgot to film myself putting them together, so I'll be doing a separate video of Zoro and all the other figures later. But yeah, you can see there he has the clear vase and looks pretty good even with the arm seams. And now for Sanji. I've really been looking forward to this one. I don't have many Sanji figures. There's not many that I like. So he's just got a clear base like Zoro. Sanji's base is a circle and Zoro's is more like oval shaped. So now let's see Sanji. So I think he looks pretty good. He looks about how I expected him to look. Not any worse. So I'm happy with that. And the flames look great. So he just goes on to this one little peg right here on his base like this. Surprised they didn't put any support poles with this one, but I'm glad that they didn't. And now here's the Prize C Luffy figure. Side of the box with the treasure cruise art on it. Yeah, it took, took me forever to finally open these, what, like two weeks, two and a half weeks, but finally did it today. So here we've got another clear circle base. And then Luffy's here wrapped up in some plastic. Now let's get a closer look at him. And I think he looks pretty good too. For some reason I was expecting these figures to be like worse quality than the official pictures. So I'm glad that they came out looking okay so far. So yeah, he just got this peg on his coat and then it goes into the hole on the base. And like with the Sanji, I'm surprised that this doesn't have a support pole with that pose with his foot going way up in the air, but he seems to be held up fine just by the coat, so happy about that. Now it's finally time for Kaido. They've got some more treasure cruise art here on the side. Yeah, this is the prize A Kaido figure. So the Kaido with the regular paint job. And he comes with this little instruction sheet showing all his pieces and how to put them on. So yeah, he's look, he looks like he's got a lot of pieces. Here's the base. So his base is black and not clear like the other bases. And Kato himself. He's actually kind of heavy. A lot heavier than the other figures. Then here we've got his weapon. So 
So yeah, the base has got a lot of holes in it. Oh, look at that, his, his horn stuck through the plastic. So they just match up with the holes like usual. They all have a different shape. So I've got one, two, then here's the last one. So I should have put his weapon on first before putting him in the base like this because it's pretty hard to get it in all the way so I had to take him off again and then, then I was able to push it through his other hand. Then I put the little hockey effect on there. So yeah, I recommend putting these pieces on before putting Kaido on the base. So I just kind of got to push his hands over till they slot into that little clear pole right there. And next is the prize B Yamato. And she's got a little instruction sheet too, like the Kaido. Just showing where to put everything. And her base is clear just like the others except for Kaido, so Kaido's the only one with a black base. The rest are all clear like this. So let's get a closer look. Mm, doesn't look too bad. I think it looks I think it looks pretty good. So with this one I put the weapon on first. And then I put the hockey effect on it right there. And then it hooks right here in the back. It was kinda hard to find the hole where it hooked into, but that's where it is right there. And then for the base, she just has these two support poles. It took me a moment to find out where the pole needed to hook into, but it goes right there in between her legs. And then this part just goes up on the other pole. And now it's time to open the last one, Kaido. So he's the same as the prize A Kaido, the only difference is their paint jobs. Then here's the instruction sheet again, just the same as the other one. All right, so there's the base again. And now the last one, Kaido. Looks like his horn is sticking through the plastic again. I think it's a pretty good paint job. I like it. Looks pretty nice. He does smell kind of toxic though. But not too bad. The other ones didn't smell so. Don't know why only this one does. Then there's his weapon. You can see the two holes right there, just stick the hockey effect right in there. Just like that. Now it's in it's in there pretty good now and then I'm just gonna stick it into Kaido's hands. And then hook it into his shoulder over there. And now he's ready to go on the base. So I'll get a better view here so you can see the pegs on his feet. 
You just push him in like that and now he's ready. So now here's the full set together. When I first saw the pictures for these, I thought maybe I would just get Luffy and Kaido, but then I decided I just wanted the whole set, and I'm glad I got them all. There's lots of different ways you can pose them, like you can do Kaido and Yamato like this. You could do Luffy and Kaido. And that's the reason it's good that I have two Kaidos, so I could do Yamato with one Kaido and Luffy with the other. Then you can even do Yamato versus Luffy or Kaido and Kaido, but why would you even do that? And now here's Zoro with Kaido. And on top we got Sanji. I thought he was going to fall off, but he actually ended up staying up there. He's kind of hooked under Kaido's hair. And Kaido looks to be the tallest out of them all. So let's see, he looks to be about... 8.5 inches from the base to the highest point of his hair. So I realized I might have too many Kaidos. See in this shelf right here I've got the two regular Kaidos and then two dragon Kaidos. Then down here I've got the two hybrid Kaidos now so that's six Kaidos. Didn't even mean to get this many it just kind of happened so Here's a Kaido shelf just for fun real quick, what it would look like with all Kaidos. I still got to review most of these Kaidos, so let me know if there's a specific one you'd want to see me do first. So I found a good use for these towels. I just put tape on the back of them and then taped them to the back of my shelf. And then I put some of those art plates in there also. Alright, so here it is now with the figures. It took me a few tries to get them how I wanted, but I'm happy with their placements now. So there we got Zoro down there with the Zoro and Sanji art plate, and then Sanji's up there on the Luffy cup. Then we got the last one, Kaido, with Luffy in the middle of the shelf. And Yamato on top of the Yamato cup there with the prize A Kaido. I'll be doing separate videos for each of these figures. This is just kind of a quick overview of the full set. So look out for those videos if you want to see more of these figures.